Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a new review on the latest release from Patriot Studio, Captain Silverblade, the 112 scale figure. With the Patriot Studio logo on the side. And that's one of Patriot Studio's earlier figures, the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. That's 112 scale. And look how big the box is compared to the figure that it houses. The reason for the size of the box is this diorama that you get inside the package yep uses magnets to illuminate it interesting but yeah big street light with signs and a crow for the top a zombie dog for the bottom that you can put wherever you want traffic cone barrel all kinds of goodies in this package let's do the review drop a like on it for me folks it'll help more people find the review lots of resident evil fans out there I'm sure they'd be curious to see this piece. So hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight Free Free Free. Enjoy the review. Alright, so I've removed the cover. Nice artwork on the front, by the way. You've got Chris Redfield's silhouette, but inside the silhouette it's different. And uh, maybe cutscenes of Chris Redfield. Alright, so now we have the first layer of goodies. Wow, there's the zombie dog. Oh, and that's the figure up there at the top in his own separate box. Yeah, RPG. Machine guns, shotgun. Traffic cone's got nice weathering on it. And we have these traffic lights here. Oh, wow, look at that, that's nice. They look cool. And they light up as well. Alright, so then we got the second layer underneath. But a very nice presentation. There was a cover over this, you know, it was in a separate box. I just removed it so you could see. Alright, and then the layer underneath we have the actual base itself. I've just seen these hands here coming out of the nameplate, that's really cool. Yeah, oh, the water effect. That looks nice. Nice detail. The concrete. That's very nice. Barrel, nicely weathered again. Alright, let's start putting this together. I have put the diorama base together and I've inserted all the batteries into the traffic lights and the light at the top. I've never dealt with anything like this before, but you use the traffic cone which is also like a little magnet and that will once you insert those batteries into the traffic lights here you can turn them on and off using the uh, traffic cone so that is really really cool you can also do it for the light at the top here as well so let me just try and get that going for it oh hang on there we go i'll have to turn off all the lights in the room it's really really cleverly done and it looks great look at that that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so here's with the lights off. And it is quite bright. Definitely bright. It looks beautiful. So does that light in the background, but that's a that's a different story. Look at that. Getting the old Halloween vibes going. But yeah, this is a beautiful diorama. And the lights work really well. It's a really cool idea. It looks fantastic. That looks real. It looks like real traffic lights. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Very, very impressive. All right, now I've just got the rest of the accessories out. There's the dog. And I believe there's some kind of subtle magnet going on where the crow attaches there on the crosswalk sign there just seems to be a very subtle kind of pull when i'm resting him in place and if so that is a very cool touch as well but it's a beautiful diorama and i thought it was going to be really tricky to put together especially with the light feature but it was actually quite straightforward didn't take that long and the overall presentation even though we haven't even got mr chris redfield out here yet already i'm very impressed 
Okay, so here is Chris Redfield, and I'm glad that all of his little parts are already on his outfit. You don't have to attach them all yourself. That's a big relief because he oh, and he's got another layer underneath. Damn, there's so much stuff here, folks. So much, so much stuff. That head sculpt looks really good. Hello, Chris. Wow, look at that. Sick. Okay, everything is here now. We have Chris Redfield fully loaded, ready for action. Looking incredible. We have the lights on. Crow. More lights up here. We have a friendly doggy approaching from the side. And we have those creepy hands coming out of the biohazard nameplate. And there's the little magnet hidden in the traffic cone there to operate the lights. And you get so much stuff. And that's not everything. Because I thought that was everything and then I forgot there's a whole massive tray here as well. With all this stuff. Loads of stuff. Loads of weapons. I've got eight more of these in the tray as well. And I think they're supposed to go on the lamppost. I should have put them on there, I guess. But, yeah, forgive me. Um, but you do get eight of these that are supposed to go on there too. Top down view. All the goodies, all the good stuff. Weapons nicely painted and weathered. Yep. Love those hands coming out of there. That is just a beautiful touch. Yep. Excellent. Little gun down there. Got like a laser sight underneath, I think. Some grenades, more hands. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you how to display your figures, folks. That's not my place. But, I mean, you know, if you did have the liquor, you could, you know, get him up on that lamppost there and have him stalking, you know, in the background. Not a bad option. Not a bad option. I think that's... That's telling me that this needs to go on display like this because it's just becoming too epic not to put on display. Plus you've got the dog at his side there. But that is insane. You've got the Patriot Studios liquor just latched on to the lamppost and he's, you know, <laughs> he's about to have some dinner. That looks incredible. That's awesome. I did that so quickly as well. I, I thought it would be a nightmare trying to get him on there but I literally just put his wrist just in there and now he's just hanging on. You could probably do it even better than that, but that looks awesome.
Now we've got Chris Redfield on the rotating base now and I'm blown away by the amount of layers there are here but it doesn't look too bulky and the possibility is still just completely there. I'm able to bring his arms together and hold on to the gun. The light catching his eyes there, it's an amazing head sculpt for 112 scale. They really do some of the best 112 scale figures I've ever seen. I know Mezco are really up there with their horror stuff but I honestly think that everything I've seen so far from Patriot Studios has been to the highest level especially when it comes to the amount of detail they managed to pack in I mean this is a lot of stuff packed into the box and I can't even fit all of it on there I've had to put the the dog here <laughs> he's just barking from from the side there love the way the knife goes into the back of the holder there Now let's get in close and take a look at all the details as it turns on the rotating base. I love the detail on the hair sculpt for such a small figure. They really packed in a lot of detail just into the hair itself. Nothing is annoying or falling off all the time or fiddly. There's nothing like that. It's so far been an absolute dream to work with. I've been able to get him in some cool kneeling poses and injured kind of crawling along the ground poses and stuff like that. And with the diorama, you can really have some fun doing that kind of stuff. Love the knife holder on the back. That's the only thing I had to install really and just put one of the guns in the holster. There is a magazine for that gun, but it was very tight so I didn't want to keep trying to push it in. I just thought I'd take it out and leave it out. Knee pads boots, loads of good articulation everywhere, really detailed, great proportions, great materials, overall an extremely solid 112 scale figure and even though I'm no expert on the source material obviously I did a fair bit of research before doing the review and watched a bunch of gameplay videos and cutscenes and all kinds of stuff with Chris Redfield here. And I think they have done an amazing job in capturing him and bringing him to life in action figure form. You check out the Leon Kennedy review on the channel as well. I need to make a Patriot Studio video playlist because I've reviewed about maybe 10 or 11, maybe 12 figures now. Most of them are from Resident Evil. And you've got uh, Lady D and the sisters and the liquor. From Resident Evil 2, Leon, now Chris Redfield. Be nice to see some female characters. Definitely. And there is that one zombie policeman figure that they made. I never did get to review that one, but I always look at that and think it looks like one of the coolest zombie figures I've ever seen. And it just would work so well for any, well, any of these Chris Redfield figures or Leon Kennedy. You have that zombie cop kind of coming at them in the foreground and them in the background drawing the gun it just makes for some fun photography yeah the skin tone the look in the eyes it's really focused and pretty mean good work on the facial hair just love the detail and the material the radio back there and all the little pouches and Give it plenty of different hands. And there's little magazines and ammo in there. Yep, that is a hell of a 112 scale figure. Take a look at the dog. Cool little extra. He got himself some sharp teeth and some scary eyes. Yep, he's a hound from hell right there. 
the ribcage showing. It's in a cool kind of attack or about to attack pose. Poor little pooch. Didn't ask for any of this, did it? Here it is. An adversary on four legs that must be dealt with. Nope. No, thank you. I don't want this chasing after me. People say you should try playing Resident Evil this and that and the other in VR. No, thank you. It's bad enough on a TV. A little bit too much terror, <laughs> especially with those types of enemies that you can't kill like Mr. X. I was getting on really well with the remake of Resident Evil 2. It's stunning to look at. Such an amazing remake. But then Mr. X turned up and ruined it. I haven't been able to go back. He's just a good, sturdy figure. Great balance, as shown here. He's just doing some crazy balance and stuff. He's just balancing on one foot. Look at him. He's fine. He's absolutely fine. Whee! Doing a little crazy dance he is. He's happy as Larry. Oh, thank you Patriot Studio for making me so great in 112 scale. I am looking good and will make a fine addition to anyone's collection. You can pose the hell out of me and I come with some great stuff. I mean, that is just an absolutely exquisite diorama. Beautiful. Love it. So, yeah. Great little figure. Look at him. No wires. None of that. No, no. He's just... Just balancing. Just balancing. And just look at the detail in those eyes. And the skin. All the little freckles or whatever. Imperfections. That's insane for 112 scale. And I love the way... The head and the neck are one piece, so you don't get any joints. There's no joints on this figure. It's completely seamless. Looking, you know? I love the way the traffic light is always just there in the background. Gives it that dose of realism. It's a very realistic looking head sculpt for that scale. Super impressed. I'll tell you, they've done such a good job over the past couple of years now when it comes to Resident Evil figures. I'd love to see Patriot Studio attack us some other video games like Metal Gear Solid or Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 5. I can, for some reason, I can quite easily imagine Trevor, you know, and Franklin and Mike being made into 112 scale figures. I guess with Rockstar stuff, it's really risky because they're so powerful, you know. They might come after you <laughs> for making their figures unofficially or whatever, but yeah, they do such a good job with anything they tackle. And this is a easy, easy, easy peasy 10 out of 10 with the diorama as well. I mean, that is a 10 out of 10 diorama. The figures are 10 out of 10. The accessories are a 10 out of 10. Packaging was lovely. I think it's fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. And I would swoop in on this before it's gone. because they can't make too many of these, you know? I don't know how many exist, but especially with the deluxe edition diorama here with all the beautiful details. It's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it. So I will have to make that playlist on the channel for all the Patriot Studio reviews, folks. Make it easy for you to find them. Done quite a few reviews now. This has been one of the most impressive pieces yet. So yeah, 10 out of 10, I highly recommend it.
Let me know what you think in the comments, folks. Drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight. Free for free, because I will be putting up some pictures up on there. But this has been an absolute pleasure to get to see. An amazing piece. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.